Meet the Graviners, everybody's favorite dysfunctional family, starring Ellen and Damien and Tallulah's Tiara as Tallulah's Tiara. This episode, nothing much happens. Well, hello everyone, and welcome here to Meet the Graviners, and today is a very special day. Today is the day that Damien grows up. Now, we could throw him a party, but I think Damien would rather just get on with fulfilling his ambitions. Yeah, these... It's time for Damien to grab hold of life and more importantly grab hold of a certain young lady and get himself to 40% to his uh, lifetime ambition which if you might remember is to woohoo with five different places with five different sims so what we're gonna do is we're getting ready gonna get him ready for the day and see how they goes oh, looks like the food went off as she was eating it so clean out bad food what's that Oh, how'd that get there? Hmm. Okay, right, uh, right. So, Ellen, you're going to be not fun for the next two hours, are you? Oh, that's how quick look. It's what can we do with you? You could use improving your mood. You can improve charisma. You could use improving funding. So, there we go. There's something to do. Practice speech. So you can get yourself in a bit a better position for your, your next promotion. Grasby! Oh yes, we did a plan and outfit for you, don't we? Yaga! Puliflina! Vagnish Tabani! Stamba! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, dearie, 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 dearie. <laughs> I think we're about to see a whole new look for Damien. Yeah. Ah, it's everybody's favorite evil maid. Hello. I think we are going to have to yeah we are going to have to take a photograph of this come on yeah that will probably do all right Yep. Oh. And it totally pulls off. Oh. Yeah, that went nicely. So, what do you guys think of Damien the Platinum and Blonde, eh? I uh, well, actually know it's not Platinum, is it? It's the wrong shade for Platinum. Yeah, interesting colour on him, I'd say. Interesting colour. Hmm, okay. Well, there we go. That's the thumbnail sorted out already. Yay! Right, Damien. Okay, that's... Oh, he wants to have a word with Tulula. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's promise him that. Okay, right, Damien. Back your normal, rather mundane looking self. That's good. Right, what do you need? You need to eat something, so. Um, serve brunch. Uh, let's be healthy. Have an autumn salad. And then I want you to phone someone. I want you to phone. You know what? Don't eat. I want you to phone someone. Um. Who do I want you to phone? Kirby! Yes! Yes, 
the one who didn't run away from you. Okay, so I want you to invite her out. There we go. And where do we want to go? We want to go and eat somewhere. So where's the restaurant? I've had a quick look at some um, different areas for these family because I don't like this one. And I found one that might work. Having a little play with it now, quite literally as a matter of fact. And uh, if I like it, we will move in, I don't know, the next few weeks or so. Where is the restaurant? Sure, it's around here somewhere. What's that? Okay, why does oh I just don't want to know. Okay, go there. There we are, right. And then you guys can feed yourselves <laughs> up, perhaps go and see a film afterwards and then Train with you, just sharpen your skills, make friends. That sounds like an excellent idea for you. How are you feeling right now? Still feeling about a bit nauseous? Okay, well let's let's deal with you. Oh, you know another vampire. Lenny Shutter is a vampire. Here she goes. Yep. Poor girl. Feel sorry for the maid as well. Well, at least I would if she wasn't evil. Right, okay. Let's find this person you need to train. And then we know you're doing something. Um, train Cressida, yes. Cressida Wells, where are you? Your home. Where is your home? Huh, doesn't appear to be on the map, which is useful. Ah, oh, there. Next door neighbour. Excellent. Oh no, that's the person you need to report in. Cresta Wells. Do you know a Cresta Wells? Mm, no, you don't. Well, this is going to be interesting to do, isn't it? All right. Okay, right. Stop caring. Yeah. Who is in there? Do we know a Wells house? Ashton. Well, if it's one of them, we'll never know. Shutter. Oh lord. Yes, this must be fun. Real fun entertainment to watch. I do apologise. Oh, okay. Right, forget that. Feeling a bit sore. Let's get you back to trans. Um, Get you back to doing some much needed charisma training. Yeah, alright, so. There we go. There we go, practice speech. Checking on Cholula, how's she doing? Right, she's not actually sleeping on the. Ooh! Looks like she's achieved some of her goals. Have face painted. Oh, she likes pranking, does she? Well, yeah, I think we can promise all that. Um, how many tickets have you got? Oh, lifetime rewards 10,000, he says, distracting himself once again. What would be good for you? Inappropriate in a good way would be good for you. Um, observant would be good for you. Anything in the 10,000 range? Opportunistic, possibly... Multitasker, there we go. Have a multitasker. And uh, while we're at it. No, those guys, yeah, it's not really worth working at with them. Uh, ooh. Uh, right. Tallulah. Stop doing that. Okay. Is it? And. 
Where's the face painting booth? Is that it? Yeah, get face painted. Snowflake seems apt for the girl who's never knowingly gone to school. Grab yourself something to eat. And redeem some festival tickets. Let's see what you've got. And you, I've just realized that we promised you something. So stop doing that for a sec. Let's plan an outfit. And then you can go back to it. Each appearance. And let's see where you are, Damien. Hey, believe the snow has gone. Indeedy. Right, let's plan you an outfit. This updating someone would be nice. <laughs> Those of you who follow my visual novels. Babu. There we go, we've got the uh, Olga look. Yay, you shall never leave. Alright, let's see what we've got here. I think it's speed up time. You know what? I think that has got to stay. <laughs> right. Right, back with Damien. As he rushes ever so, ever so slowly towards his date. Okay. Chabadu. No idea what happened there. Okay. I don't think she knows what happened there either. All right. Uh, practice speech. Perhaps I hit change appearance and let's get you out of that outfit as well. Change outfit. Every day two. There we go. And if you're done with all that, then. Use, shower, and practice, and that will keep you out of, uh, out of trouble. Your let's put a, let's put a potty trip in your future as well, shall we? All right, that side's got urinal, so I'm assuming you're going to go this side. 
Back to Damien. Yes. So, where's your date? That's not your date, but get to know her, my boy. Get to know her. She's actually walking towards you instead of fleeing the building. Right, Greek celebrity. Oh, actually. Your date is actually here. Some people just never learn, really, do they? So, where is she? There she is. Right, let's get friendly. Applaud hard work. Friendly. Celebrity gossip. Friendly. Compliment Kirby Wise for the technology degree. I don't know how to use these things, so I'm very impressed. Mm. And. Compliment cleverness. And then feed her. Restaurant. Eat here with others, Kirby Wise. Okay, right, if she hasn't run off after that lot, we'll take it to the next step. Ellen, how you doing? Sometimes I feel invisible. Alright. So, what is our, our lovely little rebel going to eat? Uh, have a hamburger, there we go. Buy a chance. Oh! Saluda's done the celebrity thing. Yay, go you. I think this is actually quite amazing. We finally found someone who can actually stand Damien. There's obviously something wrong here. Can't be any other interpretation, really, can there? Uti alashaya. Chile. Afuta. Snag. Fuhu fashu. Chris. All right, they're going well. All right. Vivi. How are you doing? More importantly, what do you look like? What do you look like? Interesting. It's not so much face paint as it looks like you've had your makeup done by a three year old. I'm impressed. Hmm. Kind of think of it, I can remember a couple of girls at school who dressed like that, uh, who made up like that. So, uh. hmm. Okay, so what can we get? We can, we can get a nice skating rink. <laughs> um. We can get an ice skating rink. Yeah. We can get some mistletoe. We can get Snowy the Bear. We can get, um, I think it's got to be done, really. Um, yeah, I think it's got to be done. Let's have a family water fun arena. And... A Snowy the Snow Bear for your bedroom. There we go. Right. Okay, and... Once you're done, <laughs> once you're done, there's a familiar face. And in fact, there's a familiar hairstyle. Jupiter. All right, so special. Good. Ask about they. Friendly. Uh, Brighton day. And friendly, express fondness, and then um, join their group. Okay. Join snowboard. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. And Ellen is sorted, so let's get back to the magnificent date, shall we? Oh look, they've dressed up for it. And stood staring at the road just to fix that memory in their mind. 
Tallulah is friendly, which means she has a really easy time making new friends. Okay, good. I'm glad you told me that. I hadn't quite worked that one out. Uh, do we yell at him or be kind? We shall, of course, be kind. <laughs> and then visit them later on. When they're asleep. Oh, yes. Yeah. The busboy apologizes profusely and assures you that your meal will be on them. Well, yes, do we know that? Because you tripped over. Additionally, you're given a complimentary group serving of their finest baked angel food cake to take home. Oh, that worked out quite well. Perhaps I won't visit you after all. Alright, so. Let's. Done enough of that. And how's your conversation going? They certainly do make an interesting couple, don't they? Hmm. Uh. Ooh, congratulations. Right. Okay, right. What should we do with you? I think after that, we'll send you home. And... You clean yourself up a little bit. I think it's time to take down those, uh, those lights as well, really, isn't it? Okay, so take a shower, set a trap for, ah, I wonder if we can, I wonder if we can, set a trap, no, we can't, st we can't set, we can't short sheet reds, that's a shame, okay, so, Oh, what the hell. Set a trap for Ellen. Like, she's going to look any different in yellow hair. Uh-huh. And... Oh, what should we do? Uh, watch the telly for a bit. There we go. Watch TV. All right. All right, let's speed this up. There. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's see what sort of mood they're in. So, does the other one come out the other side? I think I soon remember the other one comes out the other side. No, nope. you're not going home. Okay, so romantic, give flowers. Um, give us the perfect purple ones to remember you by. And then romantic, tell for a tasty joke. And romantic. Let's try this one more time. Will this work? Is it possible to woohoo in a pool? Now on a date. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Do you know it? You did it. Good lord, you did it. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Is there a film on? Is there a film on? 
There it is. Attend movie with date. Okay, right. Attend movie with date. Right. There isn't a film on. Okay, we'll do that another day. Why don't you go here? Visit vault with date. There we go. Can't believe it. These two actually seem to like each other. Whatever's going wrong with the world. Just became romantically involved with Kirby Wise. This could be a bad idea. Do we know what she does for a living? Because the last one we got involved with was the Llama. She's a podium polisher. Okay, so she works for Ellen. Oh, that could work out well, couldn't it? Oh <laughs> dear. I, I hear you were involved with my brother. Okay, right, they're indoors. Okay. So, let's go to... Very tempting. Very, very, very tempting. But I think we're not quite at that point yet. So, romantic. Um, flirtatious joke. Romantic. Take romantic photo together. Romantic. Compliment appearance. A romantic. Compliment personality. I find it very attractive that you have a personality. Beats my last girlfriend. Now you see, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I do love the way she keeps on turning her back on him. Mm. <laughs> oh, and you can do it. <laughs> I think that the, the pause is just for a romantic uh, effect, isn't it? Right, okay. This actually seems to be working. Let's see, let's see if we can up the ante here a little bit. So, um... Okay, uh... Kiss. Um, romantic. Let's try for an amorous hug. Yeah, okay, they are getting all well together. Which I think is actually one of the impending signs of the apocalypse, but there you go. Oh, Umbrella. Oh, very, very long. No, we need to up the ante still some more. Romantic. Uh, give an amazing massage. And then romantic. Continue to page two. Kiss. I know we've done that recently. It's fun. Romantic. Embrace. Mm. If that doesn't do it, <laughs> nothing oh, will. Mm. Let me touch your flesh. Oh, yes. <laughs> this person wondering, asking, I, I don't know what they're doing, and quite frankly, I don't think I want to find out. It looks disgusting to me. It does. Damien Grabner, the Charisma King, extremely irresistible, and we all know what that means, don't we? It's 40% time, guys. It's 40% time. Ah, you know, in an elevator full of women. <laughs> Good Lord, Damien's day is just getting uh, better and better, isn't it? Right, in an elevator with Kirby Wise. It's like playing Cluedo. Jigging up, indeed. Ah, uh, uh, yes, of course. Right. So, what's going to happen here? Are they going to get in? Oh, 
Are you gonna woohoo? Are you? <laughs> okay, I was starting to worry for a second that Kirby wasn't gonna get involved there. I can understand, but. Mm. Woohoo! Indeed. <laughs> mm. All I can say is I hope they're going to clean the lift. All right, so go here. <laughs> right. Okay, Stride of Pride. It's time for us to go our separate ways, I'm afraid. Hey, agent, your agent here. So the owner of the Banzai Lounge has heard about how famous you are. Took them long enough, am I right? Anyway, she'd love if you'd come down and have a drink at the bar. She thinks it would really help her business. Oh, she's willing to pay for your time. Pay me to drink? I think I can do that one. Right. Okay, mean. Ask to be just friends. And then I think that'll probably end the date. And that'll probably end the episode. So. And the chorus of people who are really, really happy to get into an elevator. And once they finish pointing and mocking at each other. I think this is time to go our separate ways. Oh. I hate doing that. I hate doing that. She's such a sweet girl. <sighs> Go home, Damien. I think you've hurt her enough. I think you've hurt her enough. She's still going to stride a pride out of the business. Uh, out of the business? Out of the building. And I think that says it all, really. 40%! Just in time to wage up as well. So, until next time, I've been Simon Parsons. Damien really needs to internalize his pride. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>